This week on Rush Outdoors, we experience the dark continent like never before. And then the not so flattering side of the outdoors with Swing and a Miss. And of course, member footage with Rush Uncut. Get ready, it's time for Rush Outdoors. for the great outdoors. Closed captioning for Rush Outdoors is brought to you by Checkpoint Graphics of Watertown. Hi everyone, welcome to Rush Outdoors. I'm Realtree Pro Sapper Tim Andrus. Today I'm at Herb Philipson's in Newark, New York, one of their many locations located across New York State. When most people think of hunting in Africa, they conjure up an image of the dark continent. Kudu, Impala, Cape Buffalo, these images would drove White Ox President Norm Whiteman to return to Africa. This past June, Norm spent nine days hunting with Hercules Oliver of Hercules Safaris in South Africa. Let's join him as he took the big trip across the big pond chasing planes game. My travel to Africa uh, went uneventful, but let's face it, anytime you're leaving the country, it, it, it can be a challenge. But uh, this particular trip, I made it there nice and smooth. And once I got there, uh, Hercules and his boys were right there to greet me. And you know, that, that lets you know that you're dealing with a pro. We got loaded into the truck, got our gear loaded, and began the, the long journey uh, to, to go where we were gonna hunt. And it was kind of unique. I mean, even though we were tired and wanting to sleep, and you're looking out the windows and you're, you're seeing the flavor of Africa, I mean, there was, there was controlled burns going on while, while we were traveling and all the different little villages and towns that we drove through watching their um, lifestyle and, and it, it really was amazing and, and certainly part of the flavor of hunting Africa. Once we got to Africa and you know, got rested up a little bit, a couple good meals in us. Everyone's getting excited about the, the, the upcoming hunts and getting out into the bush and whatnot. It, that's when the real excitement started. Man, the accommodations that, that we were able to experience at a couple different lodges was amazing. Some of them were world class. Certainly when we go on hunts like that, you're going after the animal of your dream, but it doesn't hurt. To, to have some of the best accommodations in the world. A good night's sleep goes a long way starting a, a long journey. And Hercules definitely provided that uh, every inch of the way. Hey y'all, Neil James here. I'm the banjo man from the Call of the Wild Man show. You guys come out and join me at the Great New York Sportsman's Expo. Friday, January the 23rd. Remember, it's at the New York State Fairgrounds. And if it's not the New York State Fairgrounds in Syracuse, it's not the New York Sportsman's Expo. Get you some. If you love to fish or hunt, you're going to love shopping at Herb Philipson's. For all of your fishing and hunting gear, whatever the season, it's the reason to shop Herb Philipson's. Pick up all the latest in fishing rods and reels, guns, ammo, and all the accessories you'll ever need for your next hunting or fishing adventure. Remember, we've got it, and you'll get it all at Herb Philipson's. Low price fighter prices and more. There's a Herb Philipson's location near you. Located in the lush farmlands of western New York, Orleans County offers some of the very best fly fishing opportunities in the country. From golden brown trout and acrobatic steelhead to powerful Chinook, Coho, and Atlantic salmon, fishing prospects abound in the fall and winter. Whether you fish Oak Orchard or one of our other tributaries, you'll find uncrowded weightable waters to net one of these great species. Why not come and drop a line to our finny friends and see how fall fishing in Orleans County swims with color? I love New York! 
Rush Outdoors is brought to you by Orleans County, Shadow Hunter Blinds, the New York Sportsman's Expo, Campbell Cameras, CVA, the resort at Snug Harbor, Tenzing Backpacks, Beretta Shotguns, Cutco Cutlery, Copper John Bosites, Scentlock, and the Marina Inn and Suites at Madison Barracks. The first leg of the journey, uh, we showed up after part of the group had already been on a hunt for a few days, and I actually wasn't even hunting, but I, I certainly did bring my Parker crossbow with me. Hercules spotted a beautiful blessed buck and uh, asked me if we wanted to go after it, and I said, heck yeah. We had a really cool stalk hunt on a, on a bedded blessed buck and it was windy so everything was kind of going in our favor. No, I don't want to. Too windy. Mm. Almost had him. Yep. Next time. Next time. In the end it, it just didn't pan out but we didn't go very far before we spotted another one. He was a little further out, so I grabbed the rifle and we went after him with that. Hundred yards, one twenty-five. All right. There you go. Got him. Good shot. Good shot. Brilliant. Well done, Norm. Well done, good you shot. You got him, brother. Got him, <laughs> Good job. Well, Only in Africa. <laughs> Hercules Safari. <laughs> and we were able to close the deal, and I was very, very happy with the animal. Uh, just a gorgeous animal, and it, you know, number one reason why you you go to Africa to hunt these beautiful animals. Hercules Safaris, my first blessed buck, uh, awesome hunt here in Carolina, Africa. Um, Hercules and his boys put us on all kinds of game. We've got it all from uh, Gemsbuck, Kudu, uh, Zebra, and the list goes on and on. But I couldn't be happier with my first blessed buck and uh, more to come. This was my first animal. Hang with us, more to come. Hi, I'm Tom Petrie. General Manager of Campbell Cameras and Rush Outdoors Pro Staff. And when I want to know what's going on in the great outdoors of New York State, I turn to the New York Outdoor News. Hi, I'm Todd from the Thousand Island Bait Store. Come on in. Here at the Thousand Islands Bait Store, we pride ourselves in carrying just about anything. Rods and reels, we've got tons of them. Live bait, you name it, we've got it. Camping supplies. A wide selection of clothing, ice cold beverages, tackle, nobody beats our inventory. Thank you very much for shopping the Thousand Islands Bait Store. The resort at Snug Harbor is under new management and seasonal sites are available. The resort at Snug Harbor offers a unique and profound landscape. Nestled into a scenic hillside overlooking Mud Bay, the resort offers endless opportunities for fun and relaxation. Just minutes away, you'll always find something going on in beautiful Cape Vincent. Enjoy the magic of the Thousand Island region where world-class fishing, beautiful sunsets, and the majesty of the mighty St. Lawrence River await you. Rush Outdoors is also brought to you by Thousand Island Bait Store, Muzzy Broadheads, Nikon Optics, Realtree, North Country Storage Barns, Hunter Safety System, Parker Crossbows and Red Hot Accessories, Pelican Products, Northeast Safes, The Rope Guys, Hunter Specialties, and covert trail cameras. One of the number one animals on my hit list 
uh, when I went to Africa was the Gemsbuck. You know, I don't know. I don't know every animal in Africa. I've seen a lot, but I, I don't know of one that's much more beautiful and hard to hunt. It, it was just, for me, it was, it was one of the top animals um, on, on my list. To even see one, I would have been happy. To take one was, a, was just a bonus. Norm, there's a nice Hemsbuck coming in. I was able to close the deal and, and uh, if, if we'd have packed up the next day and left, as far as I'm concerned, that hunt was complete. Little deer type animals are different all over the world, but nothing like the, the diker buck in Africa. They're just little tiny, even when they're full grown. And uh, I decided during the hunt that I would like a, uh, an opportunity at one. And, and it did present itself um, one night at the water hole with the Parker crossbow. I was able to make a really nice shot on him at uh, 40 plus yards. The only problem was it got really dark quick. It was right at last light and we did not recover him that night. We didn't even look for him. We went back the next morning. We celebrated that animal. It was, it was a very unique hunt. Overall, I, I have to say that this could very well have been one of the, my most favorite hunts to date not only because of the, the adventure itself, but the way that Hercules treated us and uh, the fact that I was able to hang out with a bunch of good friends. Um, I, I truly can't wait to, to hunt with Hercules again and, and see him uh, at the New York Sportsman's Expo on January 23rd uh, and, and kind of relive some of the, some of the hunts uh, over, over the last few months. But, uh, if, if you can make it down to the expo, you, you definitely want to meet Hercules and um, share some of these stories with him. It's pretty easy to see why Norm loves South Africa. Check back next week for the conclusion of this African hunt. It's time for this week's Covert Corner, brought to you by Covert Scouting Cameras. This week we feature a book photo sent in by pro staffer Tom Petrie of Campbell Cameras. Tom, along with everyone else at Rush Outdoors, relies on Covert Scouting Cameras. Hi, I'm Victoria Furchaw, and we'll be back in 60 seconds with this week's Swing and a Miss, brought to you by Tim's Guns of Elbridge, New York. If you love to fish or hunt, you're going to love shopping at Herb Phillipson's. For all of your fishing and hunting gear, whatever the season, it's the reason to shop Herb Phillipson's. Pick up all the latest in fishing rods and reels, guns, ammo, and all the accessories you'll ever need for your next hunting or fishing adventure. Remember, we've got it. And you'll get it all at Herb Phillipson's. Low price fighter prices and more. There's a Herb Phillipson's location near you. I hunt out of shadow hunter blinds because I think they're the best ground blind made today. Made right here in Michigan. All American made shadow hunter blinds are the very best. If you want to hunt out of the best, you need shadow hunter. Here's why.
See that totally silent? You can open the plexiglasses wherever you want it. Same thing on the east windows, just totally silent. You have so much action as a result because the deer just come all the way around you. Welcome to Swing and a Miss. This is a segment of the show where we feature footage of hunts that don't always go as planned. Corey Lauer is an avid sportsman and great friend of Rush Outdoors. There are a few things Corey loves more than to chase pike on the St. Lawrence River. Let's jump in the boat with him and see if he can seal the deal. Where do you want to be? Oh, son of a... <laughs> Man, Corey, at least you didn't have to clean out the live well. Better luck next time. That's it for this week's Swing and a Miss, brought to you by Tim's Guns of Elbridge, New York. I'll catch you next week. Just imagine your next outdoor adventure in Wayne County. Nestled up to Lake Ontario, Wayne County offers unmatched fishing for salmon, trout, walleye, and bass, while later in the year, the lake and its bays and tributaries become a waterfowler's dream. With over 10,000 acres of prime public hunting, there are numerous opportunities to chase white-tailed deer, turkey, and small game. And after your outdoor adventure is complete, tour the historic Erie Canal or visit Sodus Point and experience delightful accommodations, fine dining, and plentiful gift shops. For more information, go to waynecountytourism.com. Today I'd like to talk to you about cozy cabins from North Country Storage Barn. With seven styles of certified log homes and log cabins, you can find the camp or home that fits both your lifestyle and your budget. These Amish built cabins come with finished interiors, knotty pine walls, and multiple flooring options. And spacious rooms will give you plenty of comfortable living space. The full line of Amish built furniture, sheds, swing sets, and much more. Visit North Country Storage Barns today at one of three locations in Lowellville, Sandy Creek, Philadelphia, New York. Hi everybody, I'm Victoria Furchaw, host of Rush Outdoors, Swing and a Miss. I'm Dave Watkins, Rush Uncut member. We're here at the great New York Sportsman Expo. Come on over and check it out. <laughs> Perfect. Big old goblin. <laughs> now that's a fish. Hey folks, welcome to Rush Uncut. I'm your host Dave Morgan and we're here today with fellow committee member Keith Bartholomew going over a couple last minute details for our year end celebration at the New York Sportsman's Expo at the New York State Fairgrounds January 23rd, 24th and 25th. How's it going Keith? It's going great Dave, how are you? Good. Good. Are you ready? Yeah Dave, I'm more than ready. We got celebrities, there's the National Dock Dogs, the X at the Expo. There's uh, outfitters from all around the world. It's gonna be a huge show. Biggest show in Syracuse. That's awesome, Keith. We'll get to more of that later. But right now, let's get to Rush Uncut. What is Rush Uncut? It's simple. It's members sharing their passion of the outdoors with you and me. Okay, Keith, start us off. Hey, we got Rush Uncut member Dave Watkins on a white-tailed deer hunt in Central New York. All right, well, here we are. It's the afternoon of November 13th. And it is a blizzard. We've probably gotten four inches of snow today. And there's no sign it's gonna let up. Hopefully it won't slow down a deer movement. Deer coming, big toe, big toe. I smoked her. It's my last day to hunt in archery season. And we got a big doe on the ground. Right here at Northbound Adventures, Erie County, New York. It's snowing a little too hard for me to keep the camera out for the recovery, so. All right, now let's take it to the spring for a little turkey action. We got Rush on Cup member Shane Smith. He's turkey hunting. He's on a quest for his Grand Slam. I've hunted with Shane. He's an excellent turkey caller. Let's check this out. 
In the wild, wild world of turkeys, one of the greatest achievements is the Grand Slam. Yeah, Dave, in order to achieve this, the hunter must take an Eastern, an Osceola, a Rio Grande, and a Merriam's. Hey, for Rush Uncut member Shane Smith, the achievement of this goal has been a lifelong dream. We are very fortunate that Shane is willing to share this quest with all of us. Tore her whole one's head off. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I just killed me an Osceola turkey. I want to thank Keystone Calls, the pro, uh, the staff of Keystone Calls, Mike Fershaw, Mike McCalla, Dan Blodgett, and Sharky. Thanks for the product that you make because you make it happen. to ride up to the decoy. <laughs> awesome! Yeah. Folks, I'll tell you what, this is exciting. We heard this bird gobble. He busted us. We walked all the way around here. We got this turkey was laying, laying in this grass right here. It just ran and we just shot him. Right there he is. Unbelievable. Wasn't on video and I don't shoot nothing that ain't on video and then a daggone I blew this one here. He busted me. I blew him for Doc and I, and that bird laid right there and let us walk right up to him, didn't he? Yeah, I flushed his mouth. <laughs> Good kill. We got a bird anyway, you know what I mean? And I shot this bird about 45 yards. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our last day in Nebraska. Bottom of the ninth, two outs, two strikes, bases loaded, and we just hit a grand slam. I am so ecstatic. Folks, son, thank you for being there with me. You're welcome. I am so ecstatic. This is the passion I have for my hunting. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And that was great. That was awesome, Dave. Shane, great job. Keep it coming. I'm Ray Lampy, Dr. Barbecue, and I'm here to tell you about the Big Green Egg, the ultimate cooking experience. The versatility of the Big Green Egg is unmatched. It delivers big results as a grill, a smoker, and even an outdoor oven. Grill burgers, kebabs, steaks at 800 degrees. When the doctor cooks, I demand the best, and that's why I cook on the Big Green Egg, the ultimate cooking experience. To locate a dealer, just go to BigGreenEgg.com. Hey, and let's not forget Pitcher of the Week. Who we got, Keith? Dave, we have Rush Uncut member Chris Snyder with a beautiful New York whitetail. Nice buck, Chris. Keep it coming. Hey, if you want to become a Rush Uncut member, it's as easy as logging on to RushOutdoors.com and click on the Rush Uncut logo. Even easier than that, Keith, come on down to the New York Sportsman's Expo at the New York State Fairgrounds January 23rd, 24th, and 25th. Check out all the seminars. Troy Landry's going to be there and all the boys from Rush Outdoors and Rush Uncut. We'll see you there. For more information on celebrities, seminars, and events, go to NewYorkSportsmansExpo.com. Hey, we hope to see you there at the New York Sportsman's Expo. And don't forget to rush outdoors with a camera. Rush on Cut is brought to you by The Big Green Egg and by Brian Hunt. 
Beck Equipment, Dovey Motors, The Dryden Hotel, Rick and Rich Towing, IBEW Local 43, The Snug Harbor Restaurant and Marina, Northeast Safes, McCoy's Construction, National Land and Farm, Carolina Carports, Earth's Balance Tick Releaser Spray, IBEW Local 1249. Hey, that's all the time we have for this week. Also, let's not forget the Great New York Sportsman's Expo, January 23rd through the 25th at the State Fairgrounds in Syracuse, New York. For everyone at Rush Outdoors, I'm your host, Tim Andrus. We'll see you in the woods. For show updates, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.